good morning viewers i welcome all of you to this presentation on hepatoprotective agents let us go through the introduction part of it the liver performs number of important functions including bile production and excretion of bilirubin cholesterol hormones and drugs metabolism of fats proteins and carbohydrates enzyme activation storage of glycogen storage of vitamins and minerals synthesis of plasma proteins such as albumin globulin and synthesis of clotting factors as well as blood detoxification and purification of blood are major functions of our liver so liver disease is a term for a collection of conditions which include diseases and infections that affect the cells of liver the tissues of liver or the functions of liver so various types of liver diseases include liver necrosis liver cirrhosis hepatitis hepatic failure drug induced toxicity that is called dilly liver disorder due to impaired metabolic functions like jaundice and lipolysis so how this liver toxicity occurs or what are the factors of liver toxicity <clears throat> that causes liver damages are the major cause in india is ethanol and this suspected that more than half of the cases of hepatotoxicity is caused by alcohol consumption the second one chemicals like carbon tetrachloride phosphorus aflatoxins chlorinated hydrocarbons are responsible for liver toxicity so how does this carbon tetrachloride come carbon tetrachloride usually comes from bleaching powders that is widely used in our household practices so please keep your doors open while cleaning inside your houses it comes from wall paints also and sometimes plastic adhesives next one is phosphorus as you know phosphorus is very rich in meat especially pork it is available in milk milk it is available in nuts that we daily consume phosphorus is also important very important as because it is a component of dna it is a component of rna and then it is a component of atp adenosine triphosphate that is our cell transport mechanism and phospholipids are important part of cell membrane but now the question comes whether phosphorus is required yes of course it is required but there is a requirement guideline you require 500 mg 580 mg per day but the tolerable upper intake level as per who is 4000 mg per day if you consume more than that which are rich in pork meat which are available in milk which are available in nuts so you may have higher or excessive amount of phosphorus in your blood that can cause liver toxicity next comes to aflatoxins aflatoxins are produced by some fungi aspergillus flavus is the organism which produces specially aflatoxins in corn and peanuts and sometimes aspergillus flavus contaminates our milk and meat so they can be consumed and they can cause liver toxicity then comes the chlorinated hydrocarbon that is usually those which are found in pvc pipes and in dry cleaning dry cleaning of your cloths and it is available in ddt so pesticides higher utilization of pesticides in food particles food grains if you consume it you can be exposed to chlorinated hydrocarbon that can cause your liver toxicity that results in liver diseases that results in cns toxicity next comes that dilly drug induced liver injury especially allopurinol which is a medicine for gouty arthritis 
ampicillin with potassium clavulanate which is more widely used antibiotic NSAID that those are non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs are causes of delay drug induced liver toxicity but it is very astonishing to know that green tree extract causes hepatocellular damages this is under research but some of the research articles have been published that green tea extracts also cause liver toxicity then comes the autoimmune disorders so especially our body's immune system which originally attacks viruses and bacteria instead sometimes targets our liver cells in this condition liver gets toxicity infections like viral hepatitis hepatitis etc they can also cause your liver toxicity so these are the causes how liver toxicity occurs for them we need to have some treatment modules let us discuss the classifications of liver supportive drugs or hepatoprotective drugs so these are classified into two the first one is hepatotropic agents so what these hepatotropic agents are these generally support or promote the healing process of liver once the hepatocytes have been damaged hepatotropic agents helps in healing process of liver the second classification of hepatoprotective drug include those drugs which generally prevent various types of liver affections prophylactically if we consume these hepatoprotective agents they will protect the liver cells from liver affections from carbon tetrachloride phosphorus aflatoxins etc so the mode of action of hepatoprotective agents it is very necessary to know there are two probable mode of action the first one is these drugs may alter the structure of the outer membrane of the hepatocytes in such a way as to prevent penetration of liver toxin into interior of the cell if these liver toxins cannot enter your liver cells then no toxicity of the liver cell can occur the second one is this drug may stimulate the action of nuclear polymerase a which is a ribosomal antibody resulting in ribosomal protein synthesis thus stimulate the regenerative ability of the liver and formation of new hepatocytes in those cases where the hepatocytes has damaged so these drugs will help in regenerating the hepatocytes so these are the two mechanisms or these are the two modes of action how hepatoprotective agents work